What you doing? I am trying so desperately to upload a video before we get on the ship. What's it at? Three percent. <laughs> How long has it been uploading? Um, I started last night, and it probably ran for like two hours before we went to sleep, and it's been on for an hour this morning. So we're we're at a solid one percent an hour. Good morning from our final day here in the UK. We are here at the Star Hotel till we can until we check out which is 11 mm -hmm. so we'll be here till 11 because we got aboard the ship today but we have a three hour window to fill between checking out of here at 11 and boarding the ship at two we have a lot of luggage i'm not sure what we're gonna do with all that at the moment but it'll be an adventure we'll probably find like a cafe or somewhere to hang out that's kind of that direction which is that way and then oh that way facing the road it's that way <laughs> <laughs> hopefully they'll have better internet than here and yeah. i can get one last vlog uploaded before we have no internet for the next seven days we'll see first stop that we thought about stopping at is a definite no it is an antique shop in the bottom so we have to walk all of our suitcases through the antique shop and then up the semi-spiral staircase to the coffee shop so i don't think us lugging all this stuff up there is going to be a lot of fun Second try, closed on Sundays. Starbucks for the win, and they have iced tea, which I didn't think they would, but they do. Yay! Well, I'm sorry. Y'all are not going to get another vlog before the ship. We were at 7% when we got here. We're up to 28. But now it's time to go, which I can't complain about too much because we're gonna go get on a boat. We are having a hell of a time. The website said to go down to the ocean terminal. Turns out that's not where we need to be. We need to be two miles in the other direction. We just ran into a really nice older gentleman who's gonna go into the restaurant he just ate at. He's going to the same place. Again, thought it was the ocean terminal. Does not want to walk the two miles, and he's gonna call a cab, and we're all gonna share it. So, hopefully, we get there. We are into the check-in area. We've got separated from our friend Anthony, the nice gentleman who paid for our taxi to get here. I hope we run into him again. He was phenomenal, wonderful guy. Um, ooh, lines moving. So we just do the check-in bit, and then we get on. We have successfully made it through the check-in process and now we're waiting for security, but there's a delay. So we get to sit for a little bit, which I will not complain about. We made it through security. Now onto the ship. ship is very nice. I feel way underdressed. <laughs> Gonna go find our room. Na, 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 na. Just playing through the pain of the elevator. I hate elevators. Welcome on board the Queen Mary 2, Mr. and Mrs. Alexander. We're in our room. It's really nice. It is very nice. Our last cruise, which was in 2012, where we didn't have any money, um, <laughs> we were in a room that was at the back of the ship. This is in the kind of in the middle, in the middle. of the ship. It was a two. It had a. It was bunk a bunk bed, bed on both sides. It had three berths. Yeah, it had like 
two yeah. and then a bunk bed above it's very one. small about half the size of this yeah room, so so this is a nice upgrade, upgrade. and we have a little balcony once we get settled and all the mustard stuff happens we'll give you guys a really in-depth tour of our cabin i'm not worried about the mustard thing she is mustard mustard muster muster see that's how much i'm not worried about it i'm going down with the shit folks no you're not first things first safety protocol we're gonna go find our muster station and get our little cards scanned to show that we did it um and then i don't know somebody mentioned there's gonna be like a champagne thing way up top when we set sail so maybe we'll do that we also want to come back and really explore our room i'm really excited about it we will definitely give you guys a sneak peek by the end of this video I promise okay we have spent the last hour wandering around the ship where we accidentally made a bunch of spa appointments for some massages and things tomorrow and then we came back to our room and unpacked a couple of our bags so that we can give you a room tour so we'll start at this end it's kind of tiny bear with us this is our door in on um, this side is the bathroom that we'll get to you have all of this storage space here you can ask for extra hangers if you need them this one has your life vests, the little safe, a couple of shelves, four drawers, and then another closet area chock full of hangers, which we have used nearly all of. This is the bathroom. Has a couple of cabinets and a decent sized little walk-in shower. Oh yeah, that's much bigger than our last bigger one. Than the last one. It's kind of hard to tell with the curtain in, but <laughs> that's much bigger than our last one. And then of course it has all kinds of toiletries and towels and things like that. Then you have a floor length mirror on the wall here. Which is very nice, so you can check yourself before going to dinner. Then the big bed which I'm very excited about. Our last cruise, we had two separate twin beds. You can do the same setup for this one if you want two twins, or you can have them smushed together, which we opted for. We each have a bedside table. There's a lovely little couch area with a wee table, which is very nice. Then over here, we have a desk. This is a mini fridge. These we brought ourselves, but this was already in here when we boarded. I don't know if that's something that you have to pay for if you open it, so we're just we're just not gonna open it. Um, a wee tiny drawer here that we shoved all of the paperwork in that we had in the room. This one is where the hair dryer lives. You have your little tea coffee stand. The nice thing is that there's also a ton of plugs. There are two UK plugs, two um, US plugs, and then I think there's more, is there not? Did I imagine that? Yeah, there's two more US plugs here, which is cool. And then out here is our little balcony. It's a covered balcony. So we have a roof above us and we just have like this little lookout window but we do have two chairs and a little table and I'm hoping that it's not too spectacularly cold and I can sit out here and read all the time. Also we haven't left yet so that's, yeah. that's still England. We are gonna go try to shove some food in our faces really quickly, and then I think we set sail in about a half hour. We're also, we also have a dinner reservation, so. Yep, all the food is included. This is our first food foray for the King's Court. There's so many options. This is round one. I am sure we're gonna go back. I saw some apple strudel also. There's so many yummy, yummy options. We're gonna eat so much food on this boat. We're gonna eat so much food. Round two. This is a chocolate and passion fruit mousse. Uh, 
Dude, I'm not a big Moose fan. Like, I always feel like there's not, like, there looks like there's a lot there, but then there's not much substance, but it's really good. Britannia restaurant. This is our first nice meal on board. Uh, you can reserve to eat here every night. I don't know if we're going to do that yet or not. We kind of want to try everything. Um, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful room. We can just see the sunset out the window. We ordered and now we just wait. Enjoy the atmosphere. It's gorgeous. <laughs> we had dinner. It was pretty good. It was good. Um, I had. <laughs> it was. We we're had not, a guest. Okay. We're not, we're not fancy mm -mm, food people. No. We're not foodies. I mean, we like food like anybody else, but you, if you tell us like it's a, it's a pig tartare stuffed in chicken, I have no idea what you're talking about. But <laughs> I don't even know. If it sounds ridiculous to me. And then it comes with these little things, and they like do artistic like squishies with it. And I'm like, just feed me. It was very pretty. <laughs> um, I ordered some like. Is that a Texas thing? Why don't you give me some? <laughs> just give me some meat on a plate. <laughs> I don't need your. I don't need your fancy fixings. Anyways, I, it was very good. I ordered some, like, I don't know, like, boiled heirloom carrots or roasted heirloom carrots, and I didn't expect them to be cold. That was a surprise. <laughs> I, um, I had a, a oh, what is the shrimp thing? I got? You got, like, some, well, it was, like, a fancy shrimp cocktail it was salad a, It was a thing. shrimp cocktail salad. It was very good. It was, like, a little baby shrimp. So it was very yeah. good. It was also cold, but I, I knew that, so. And then I got some sort of turkey dish that I could not pronounce. <laughs> What Which was, was the, also what, pretty good. What was in the middle of it? I don't know. Did you like it? No. She didn't like it. Whatever was in the middle of it, she didn't like it. I didn't really care for that. But it had now that know. cute little, like, swoopy pile of mashed potatoes. And I did like those. And then it also had, like, roasted root vegetables, and those were really good. I had a uh, cod, and it was just a grilled cod on some rice. I, I think the best part about going to fancy dinners and being on this ship in particular, which has a like more um, fancy dress code, is that we get to dress up. And I feel like we never get to dress up. And I have all these dresses that I never get to wear. So that'll be fun. I brought some dresses to wear, and I'm excited to get to do that. And then we had dessert, and I had mango sticky rice for the first time, and it was pretty good. I It wasn't as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Um, it was pretty mildly sweet, but I, I liked it. I had another serving of apple strudel because it's delicious and mm. I love anything apple based. So. She already had that. So. <laughs> I did. I had that earlier for lunch. We are going to check out the schedule for the rest of the evening, see if there's anything else we want to go do. We also need to go down to the purser's office and figure out how to get our clothes pressed because they've, they've all been, been shoved in a suitcase for the last three weeks and they're very wrinkly. Also... As I mentioned earlier, that we splurge and are going to spend a lot of money at the spa. Apparently. Which we feel really, like, I feel really guilty about it, but I'm also really excited about it. Either way, Billy has a massage at 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> which so. seems like a terrible time. <laughs> We get up early, go have a massage. The nice thing is that we are crossing a time zone tonight. We have an extra hour of sleep, so that balances out right. <laughs> we'll see if we can find anything else to do tonight. If not, spectacular first day on board. Okay, we looked at the menu thing. The Not the menu, the schedule. The, the menu of entertainment. We decided what entertainment to eat. 
we looked at the schedule of entertainment and we just decided <laughs> we don't have the energy for it. <laughs> Everything on the schedule for the rest of the evening is DJs and discos and dances, and like DJs. dance parties. There's a um, flutist on. Yeah, she is playing at like 10.30. It goes on late here, man. There's a We're old people. 12.15. <laughs> It's after 10. We're ready to go to bed. I'm tired. Or, granted, we've had a long day. So. Now, I like that you say that we're old people, and yet all <laughs> of the old people on this ship are, are out drinking. kicking it. Anyway. We're tired. We're going to go to bed. And hopefully the gentle waters of the ocean that we're almost in, I think we'll be in the ocean officially at 6 o'clock or so in the morning, will rock us into a gentle <laughs> slumber. I'm going to pass out. I'm tired. (laughs) We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.